Mr. Galore, ladies and gentlemen, do enjoy the 10th birthday of the Euro because I very much doubt you will be celebrating the 20th. What we have seen this morning has been reminiscent of the old Soviet times. Do you remember when the five year plans were announced to be successes often before they were even launched with much talk of record harvests and wonderful production figures for tractors? And I suppose much like those days we have been treated this morning to a succession of unelected ageing bureaucrats telling us what a great success the whole thing has been. It is all delusional stuff. The idea that the ECB has done a good job is extraordinary. It was last July when the European Central Bank put interest rates up just at the very moment that the markets were going into meltdown and rates were being slashed across the rest of the world. Of course, none of this surprises me because what this euro is all about, it is about a political class imposing its will upon the peoples of Europe. Remember, only two countries had a referendum on the euro, Denmark and Sweden, and both of them said no. That little word that you try and avoid if you possibly can. The eurozone has never been tested, but it is about to be. Spain is in economic trouble. Italy, as German economists at the time said, should never have joined the euro. But the situation in Greece, I think, is where we should focus our attention. Thousands of young people out on the streets demonstrating, demanding their government does something, demanding their government cuts rates, demanding their government devalues. But the Greek government is stuck inside the Euro straitjacket. There's nothing they can do. There's nothing a future general election can do in Greece to change anything. And when people have taken away from them the ability through the ballot box to determine their own futures, then I'm afraid that violence becomes the only logical alternative. What you've done with this euro is you have trapped people in an economic prison. You've trapped people in a Volkerkerke from which to get out, from which to get out. It will take great courage, it will take leadership or possibly the inevitable economic meltdown. You can boo, you can jeer, but remember this. Britain outside of the euro has been able to devalue, has been able to slash interest rates. We have been able to do the things that we need to do. And jeer on if you like. But have you noticed that on the bond markets this morning, Greek bonds are trading 233 basis points higher than German bonds? Now I know that most of you in this room won't even know what that means. And those that do will do your best to ignore it. You can go on if you want, burying your heads in the sand. You can ignore the markets if you want to, but in time, the markets will not ignore you. Thank you very much. This gentleman was pushing.